Oops, my microphone. <laughs> hey, hello there. Good morning, teacher. Oh, good morning. Good evening. Good evening, oh. good evening teacher. teacher. All right, good evening, buddy. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How's it going? Are you ready? Good evening, teacher. I'm hello, here. hello, hello. Good evening, Hi. teacher. Howdy. Hi. Good evening, Andrea. Good evening, Hi. everyone. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to see you again. Hope that you're doing good. I hope that you're doing really, really good. Let's get started with five-minute practice. Five-minute recap. Tell me, what do you remember from yesterday's session? The possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Yes. And possessive names. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. For example, for the subject pronoun I, possessive adjective, my. Mine. My. Possessive pronoun? Mine. 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 Okay. My adjective, my. my. Pronoun, mine. 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 Y si mi nombre es Caleb, el posesivo con nombre sería? Caleb's. Caleb's, right? Caleb apostrophe S. Caleb's last name is Nunez. Caleb's phone number, it's 76505455. Stuff like that, right? Uh, subject pronoun you. What is the possessive adjective? Your, 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 okay. Your. What is the possessive pronoun? Yours, yours, yours. fabulous, yours. fabulous. Okay. Um, for the subject pronoun, he, what is the possessive adjective? His, his, his. and what is the possessive pronoun? His. His. His is the same. H-I-S. Easy peasy. All right. Now, subject pronoun she for woman, for ladies. What is the positive her. adjective? Her. 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 Look my mouth Her. position. Her. 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 All right. Her. 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 Digamos ese her con, con pronunciación, ¿verdad? No solo así como leyendo en inglés, a I mí mean, en español, her, no, ¿verdad? Her. Viene de adentro. Her. 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 And her. what is the pronoun? Her. 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 Con la S. Hers. 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 Ok. Uh, for the subject pronoun, we. Oh. Our. Oh, 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 our our para que asocien bien our, esa pronunciación our, ok se pronuncia se dice igual que como se dice la palabra la palabra hora en inglés hora en inglés our. se dice hour entonces es, es un homophone es una palabra homófona verdad que eh, se pronuncia igual significa distinto pero pronunciamos igual our our okay our and what is the possessive our. pronoun ours 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 good pronunciation ours. Brian ours eres verdad ours ours okay very good. Subject pronoun, they. What's the positive adjective? They. they. I'm sorry, repeat. Positive adjective. They. They. Sin ese. They. They. Ese es el positive adjective. They. They. El positive pronoun, ahí sí. Theirs. 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 
estamos ahí, guys. Si estamos claros ahí, estamos muy bien, les diré. Estamos muy, muy bien. All right. Vamos a hacer un ejemplo más. Vamos a hablar. Oh, let me see, let me see. Si, Andrea, si nos das un ejemplo, Miss Sánchez, usando un objeto, una posesión, para que nosotros demos las tres formas en tu caso. ¿Qué objeto nos puedes decir? I have a, what? I have a, what could be the example? Could be a pencil, could be a sharpener, could be a cell phone. What's that? This is my book. I'm sorry, is that a... My notebook. Oh. No book. Not All right. Me encanta cuando se self-correct. No book. Ben, the object is no book. The example is said by Andrea. Ok. Entonces, para decir, este es su cuaderno. Si estamos usando body language, ¿cómo sería? Solo uno, solo uno. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this, this is her notebook. Correct. This, this is her notebook. Which means in the Spanish, este es su cuaderno. Cuando digo su, cuando estoy usando her, estoy especificando que es de ella. Correct. Correct. ¿Cómo podríamos decir ese ejemplo usando possessive pronoun? This notebook is her. I'm sorry, repeat. This notebook, notebook is hers. Is her. Correct. This notebook is hers. Her. Siempre her. usando body language. Como que la tenemos cerquita, Andrea, ¿verdad? Hey, this notebook is hers. Es de ella, ¿verdad? All right. Entonces, si usamos ahora el último, possessive name, ¿cómo sería? This is Andrea's book. Correct. Andrea's notebook. This is Andrea's notebook. Ahí puedo jugar con el orden. Puedo decir, this is Andrea's notebook. O puedo decir, this notebook is Andreas. Okay. okay. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's call attendance. Let's call attendance real quick. Wow, chicos. Ya vamos de salida con ustedes, ¿verdad? Today is Wednesday, day 9. Perfect. Let's start with the attendance. Adam Isaias Cornejo Ramirez. Adam Wilfredo Arevalo Linares. Thank you, teacher. Alan Enrique Rosales Sorto. Alexandra Milena Rendon Saldaña. Ana Gabriela Murillo Martinez. Ana Margarita Márquez de Castillo. Ana Noemi no, um, Hernández de Moreira. Ana Andrea, I'm sorry. Ahora es Andrea Elizabeth González Burgos. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Recinos. Present. Thank you. Ángel René Esquivel Landa Verde. Okay, Angela Maria Parada Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Antonio Alberto Martinez Present. Perez. Present teacher. I'm here, teacher. Bernardo Antonio Herrera Diaz. Present teacher. Wonderful. Blanca Elizabeth Fuentes Menendez. Present teacher. In Blanca Jamalet Aquino Via Mariona. Brenda Maricela Tobar Aguilar. Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernandez. Here I am. Carlos Alejandro Perez Caravantes. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. I am here. Thank you. Carlos Manuel Ramos Cepeda. Here I am. Thank you, sir. 
Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla Orantes. Present. Thank you. Carmen Lisette Santillana de Retana. Present. Cesar Alejandro Ramos Cepeda. Here I am. Cindy Marielos Figueroa Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lisette Lopez Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Dalila del Carmen Romero Guerra. Present. Oh, thank you. Daniela Alejandra Candray Galvez. David Present. Antonio, oh, thank you. David Antonio Lopez Torres. David Benjamin Aguirre Ayala. Present. Thank you. And David Ezequiel Sanchez Munoz. I'm here, teacher. All right. Entonces, Anita Moreira. Teacher. Hasta acá. Dígame. Yes? No, no, no. No, no, no. Hoy dígame, hoy dígame. No se vale. <laughs> Yo pensé que no me había escuchado. Quiero ver cuál es tu nombre. David Ezequiel. El último, pero David pensé Ezequiel. que no me había escuchado. Oh, es cierto, no y... te había escuchado. <laughs> Aquí está. Y ahí le han dejado mensajes de unas que no han... Creo que porque no le servían el micrófono, dice. Teacher, creo que no. Es correcto. Ey, qué raro. Y Andrea María Parada, voy de viaje, el trabajo, entrar a un lugar, pero... Okay, Profe, okay. Dígame. Buenas noches. Eh, a mí me mencionó igual, este, con lo del audio no pude responder. What's your first name? Alexandra. Milena. Sí. Grandon, thank you, Miss. Así nos ahorramos esto al final. Y vamos a comenzar entonces. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's continue learning. Let's continue learning. Bueno, ayer nos quedamos como que a medias con una tablita, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si podemos finalizar eso. Let me share, let me share audio, let me share video. Let me see, let me see, where is it? Here is. Perfect. So. Esto es lo que vimos el día de ayer. That's wonderful, wonderful. And um, let's move on. Today we have this uh, knowledge check. Este me lo tienen que hacer, ¿verdad? Váyanlo completando, por favor. This knowledge check, 4.6. Todos tenemos que ir hasta acá. Please. Entonces, hasta el día de mañana, pues, pueden ya realizarlo, ¿verdad? Entre ahora y mañana. Y si ya lo hicieron, pues, qué genial. All right. And the next objective today is... Will, you will become familiar with the weather seasons. Repeat, weather, weather. La forma más común de hablar del clima es esa, ¿verdad? Weather. How do you spell weather, guys? How do you spell weather? That is correct, remember. W-E-A-T-H-E-R -E Weather Se pronuncia weather. como con una D, ¿verdad? The, the. We weather. weather Ok weather. Puede decir weather. weather o pueden decir climate Climate Climate, climate. Es, climate is, is less common, ¿ok? Climate. Weather is more common ¿Ok? Yeah. It's seasons, seasons. Weather is clima. Seasons son las stations. stations. Yes, the stations of the year. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch this video real quick. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by this. And repeat. It's spring in Brazil. It's spring in Brazil. It's, it's spring in Brazil. Spring in Brazil. The it's station. Spring in Brazil. The station Brazil. there. It's spring. Spring. Otra vez, otra vez con la letra S, guys. 
seamos súper detallistas con esas pronunciaciones cuando las palabras comienzan con la letra S. Vamos a pronunciar el sonido de la, le, de la letra S. Spring. 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 No me vaya a decir, no me vaya a decir spring, ¿verdad? Porque por, por ser salvadoreño, por hablar spring. español, se nos va a esa E. Entonces, spring. 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 What is a spring in Spanish? Eso sería primavera, ¿verdad? It's spring in Brazil. Repeat, Brazil. 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 Spring, it's, it's season or is weather? Season. It's season. Season. Repeat. It's a season of the year. It's warm. It's very sunny. Repeat. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's hot. It's hot. It's very sunny. Está caliente, está cálido. It, it's very sunny. ¿Sí? It's very it's sunny. Very, very sunny. Very sí, ahora le escucho. Ahora sí. Okay. Okay. ok, estamos. My pleasure. Ok, entonces, it's warm. 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 Ok, tratamos de dar el mmm, ¿verdad? It's warm. warm. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's, it's very, very sunny. 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 So very in this sunny. case, warm. It's a warm. it's a weather. It's a weather status, right? Warm. Sunny. Sunny is also a weather status. Okay. Exactly. Está cálido. Está caliente. It's sunny. Viene del sol, ¿verdad? Sun, sunny. It's very sunny. Soleado. Bien, soleado. Ok, very good. Let's continue. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's summer in Korea. It's summer. Wait, is Korea or Korea? Korea. 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 In Korea. Korea. It's summer in Korea. Korea. What, is, what is summer? Summer in Verano. Verano. That's the year station, right? Verano. All right. It's raining. It's el, raining. El verbo ahí, the base, is rain. Rain, which means llover. Pero si yo digo, it's raining, con ese ing. Está lloviendo. Está lloviendo. It's raining. En este momento. Sí, see, see the picture? The people are wearing, you know, they are using umbrellas, right? Yeah. Because yes. it's raining. Right? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot and humid. I can say I can say that warm, remember warm? Warm and hot. They are very, very similar. They are synonyms. Okay? They are synonyms. Synonyms. Warm. And hot. Okay. It's warm. Warm. It's and hot. Ambos son, son synonyms. Okay. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's humid. So, what is the station of the year hot there? What is the station of the year in Korea? Summer. Summer. It's summer. It's summer. Summer. It's summer. It's summer. 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 So it's summer. The weather condition, the weather in Korea, it's raining. It's hot and humid. 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 
Correct. Fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's fall. Repeat, it's fall. 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 Guys, recuerden que en inglés ustedes van a encontrar muchas palabritas que tienen varios significados, varios usos. Es bueno aprender y saber de todo un poquito, ¿verdad? En este caso, fall. What is the meaning of fall? Si estamos hablando de season of the year. Otoño. Otoño, correcto. It's a season of the year that we don't really have it in El Salvador. But in the United States, they do have this uh, season, fall. Como, como season, si estamos hablando de seasons, significa otoño. Si estamos hablando de un verbo, significa caer. Caer. Por ejemplo, usted dice fall down, es que usted se, ¿verdad? Como decimos en español, ¿verdad? Fall down. All right. Y como la station sería fall. It's fall in the U.S. Repeat, it's fall it's in the U.S. It's fall in the U.S. It's fall in the U.S. 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 In the in the U.S. It's fall in the U.S. Fall in the U.S. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Repeat. It's cool. 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 It's chivo decimos it's nosotros, cool. ¿verdad? Que chivo. It's cool. It's okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, it's cloudy. It's, it's cloudy. cloudy and windy. And windy. Cloudy and windy. Cloudy viene de cloud, que es una nube. Cloudy. Nublado. It's cloudy. And windy. Windy viene de wind, que es viento. Entonces, windy. ¿Cómo lo interpretamos? Windy. Cloudy and windy. Que hay viento. ¿Cómo decimos cuando hay viento? Aquí está norteando. Está norteando, ¿verdad? Decimos nosotros. Ventilado. No sé si existe la palabra ventarroso, que es algo así, ¿verdad? Ventilado. Ventilado, más que eso, más que eso. O sea, está fuerte. Mira el cabello a ella. Look at her hair. The, her hair, it's flying away because it's, it's really windy. <laughs> it's really windy. All right. Next. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very it's cold. Winter. Now, let's It's very cold. It's snowing. Okay. It's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. And what's winter? What's winter? What is winter in the Spanish? Correcto. Invierno. Winter. Winter. Russia. It's winter, winter in, Russia. in Russia. 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 It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. Hay dos S's ahí. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's snowing. It's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. Very good. Snowing viene de snow, de nieve. Entonces, it's snowing. Está nevando, ¿verdad? Desconocemos eso acá nosotros, right? But in Russia and the United States, it happens. It's very cold. Está super, muy, muy, muy helado. Any questions so far? Any question? 
Teacher, eh, eh, aquí que se usa el it's fall in the US, it's cool se, se traduce también como un con weather. It's a it's, weather. It's cool que está hablando del clima, no de la estación en sí, pero del clima. It's okay. cool, está bien, bien chivo, yes. bien disfrutable, tropical, right? En cambio, um, también tenemos cold, que también estamos hablando de weather. Entonces, aquí lo importante es, you have to distinguish what is the season and what is the weather, right? Seasons are four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Everybody, the four seasons... The four, the, four the four seasons are spring, summer, fall, and winter. 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 Okay. Winter. Um, weather vocabulary, winter. you can say warm, you can say hot, you can say sunny, sunny. rainy. Rainy. Humid. Humid. Cool. Humid. Cool. 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 Cloudy. 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 Windy. Cloudy. Windy. Snowing. Snowing. Cold. 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 What, what season are we in El Salvador now? It's summer. It's summer. Mm -mm. It's spring. No. It's spring. spring. It's spring. When well, we finish summer, we finish summer like in January. Uh -huh. So now in February, we are going to start spring season. Okay. We are Sorry. about uh, to start the spring season. And, and what is the weather today, tonight in El Salvador? What's the weather like? It's, it's cool. very sunny. It's very sunny. Cool. Right now? No, sunny. it's wind, windy. Yes, it's true. It's windy. Right no. now in El Salvador, it's very windy and it gets very cold at night. Yes? Mm. It's very it's very cold at night because it's windy. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, yes. what is what is your favorite season? What's your favorite season? Winter. Winter. Hmm. You can say my favorite season is winter, or you can say it's winter. It's winter. My favorite season it's winter. All right, mm. your favorite season is winter. Okay. Why? Why? It's very cool because it's very cold. Correct, because it's like very rainy. cold. Yes, it's rainy. That's right. That's totally right. <laughs> okay, what about you guys? What is your favorite season? What's your favorite season? My favorite season. It's winter too. It's winter too. It's winter too. All right. And what's your favorite time? Les pueden preguntar, what's your favorite? Lo vamos a apuntar. What's, what's your, your favorite season? All right. Of the year, of the year. Me le ponen ahí el question mark, por favor. O podemos preguntar, what's your favorite kind of weather? What's your favorite kind of weather? Repeat. What's your favorite, What's your favorite kind of weather? Favorite kind of weather. ¿Qué tipo de clima es tu favorito? 
All right. Or what's your favorite season? For example, um, let me see, let me see. I have Alexandra Rendon. What is your favorite season, Alexandra? Yeah, my favorite season is winter. Winter. And what is your favorite kind of weather? Sorry? What is your favorite kind of weather? ¿Qué podemos responder ahí? It's rain. Yes, correct. It's raining, hot and humid, snowing, right? When it's very cold, etc. So that's for you to have ideas to have conversations, right? About about seasons and weather. Any questions so far? Any question? No, not no. Sure. So far, so good. Okay, okay, let's move on. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. Listen and it's repeat. very cold. Bueno, primero Which listen. Listen, how this topic listen, is listen, listen. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating. All right, let's go ahead and practice this conversation. Repeat. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. no. What's the matter? Oh, no. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Si me pueden enmarcar esta pregunta aparte. ¿Se acuerdan del saludo cuando decimos Hi, good evening? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Qué sigue después? How are you? How are you doing? La pregunta. How are you? How are you doing? How is it going? ¿Sí? Para saludar. Ahora, eso es para saludar. ¿Qué pasa cuando hay algo malo? Cuando pasa algo malo, usted ve que la otra persona está malo, está down, está cabizbajo. Entonces ahí no aplica. Hey, how are you? Right? ¿Qué vamos a decir? ¿Qué pasó? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? ¿Esta pronunciación? Matter. Matter. Es como una R ahí, ¿verdad? Matter. A menos que lo quieran pronunciar br británico, así, British. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter, Harry Potter? Si no, pues, American accent, ¿verdad? What's the matter? Yo prefiero el, el, el acento americano. What's the matter? What's the matter? Si usted ve a Alan que está ahí escuchando música romántica, usted le dice, hey, what's the matter? Right? What's, What's the matter? matter? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? What's estoy matter? interpretando que algo está mal. ¿Ok? En general. So, what's the matter? What's Entonces the ella matter? dice, it's a snowing. Repeat, it's a snowing. It's a snowing. It's a snowing. It's, snowing. it's, snowing. it's, snowing. it's very cold. And it's very cold. And it's very cold. Entonces, ¿qué pasaba? ¿Cuál era el problema? Eh, what's the matter? Es como la forma formal de decir, what's the problem? ¿Ya? Yeah? What's the problem? Correcto, correcto. Uh, ella dice, eso es lo que hay de malo. It's snowing. And it's very cold. Repeat. It's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. Fantastic. Okay. Are you wearing your gloves? Y quiero que se fijen en esa pregunta. ¿Qué tipo de pregunta es esa? Comienza con el are, comienza con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Se aparece las yes no question, ¿verdad? Are you from El Salvador? Yes, I am. Ah, are you Carlos? No, I am not. 
Entonces aquí ya es la introducción al presente continuo. Present, present continuous. continuous. ¿Por qué? Mm -hmm. Porque ya estoy usando el ING. Si yeah. se fijaron en el verbo, where. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije yeah. where? Con ropa, con accesorios. Right? Pero wearing, cada vez que le agregamos la ING al verbo, se va a interpretar como todos los verbos en español que terminan en ando o yendo. En este caso, vestir, wear, vistiendo, wearing. Estás tú vistiendo. Se traduce estás tú usando, ¿verdad? Pero el verbo es wear. Estás tú usando tus... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Guantes. Tus guantes. 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 No. Are you wearing? Estás tú usando. No usar wear, sino wearing. wearing. Ahorita. Right now. Wearing. Are you wearing your gloves? Your gloves. Are you wearing your gloves? 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 Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you no, they are at home. 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 They are at home. Well, subrayemos uh, ahí, pongamos la parte ese well, guys, para dar well, elegancia, well, para well, introducir, well. verdad, información importante, información interesante, well, right? Well, bueno, well, well, you're wearing your coat. You're wearing your coat. Well, well, your coat. Affirmative, affirmative. Well, Aquí en la pregunta. Well, you're wearing your coat. La entonación es diferente a Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? Repeat. Well, you're wearing your gloves. You're wearing your gloves. El Pat says, but, but, contraste. Pero, but, but my coat isn't warm. My coat isn't warm. My coat isn't warm. Pero, ¿verdad? Mi abrigo. But my coat is right? warm. No es caliente. Correct. And I'm not wearing boots. Estoy usando el I'm not wearing boots. Repeat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. My coat is warm. Not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Okay. Okay. Let's let's take take a taxi. Let's take. Take a taxi. Wonderful. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Okay. Okay. Let's take a taxi. Let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Okay. Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Pat, and all my students will interpret Julie. Are you ready? Yes. I need you to sound natural. Necesito que suenen naturales, imitando la entonación que acabamos de practicar. Right? To the fullest. Right? To the fullest. Al más no poder. Ready? Three, two, yes. one. Oh, no! What's, What's the matter? matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Matter. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Matter. Wait, wait, wait. Matter. Not the mother. Not the mother. What's the mother? Mother. 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 What's the mother? What's the mother? Guys, notan la diferencia entre mother and mother. Yes. Mother. Escuché algo por ahí. Entonces, sería mother. What's the matter? Repeat. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? 
mostrando preocupación, ¿verdad? What otra vez, matter? iniciamos otra vez. Matter, matter, matter. matter. what's the matter? Okay. Matter. Three, two, one. Okay, okay. Oh, no. What's, what's the, the matter? matter? The matter. The matter. Uh, it's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing uh, your gloves? Are you, are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Coat? Coat? But my coat isn't warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's switch. Let's switch. Now you start. Everybody starts. You guys are Pat, Teacher Kalev, Julie on three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's, it's snowing. snowing. Very cold. Cool. Cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No. 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 Out of, out of well, you're wearing your coat. But, but my coat Boots. Boots. Okay, but, but, espero, ¿verdad? Right? This is boots. Boots. Okay, guys, let's take a taxi. Thanks, thank you, teacher Caleb. <laughs> Quiero escucharlos así, uh, por género. A ver cómo se, se escucha eso. Entonces, girls, you're going to be pat. And all the men, all the gentlemen, you're going to interpret Julie. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Three, yes, two, teacher. one. Let's go. Ready. Oh no! Oh, no. What's the matter? What's the matter? No way! It's snowing. No way! It's very cold. cold. It's very cold. Are, Are you wearing your gloves? Wearing your gloves? No. 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 I don't know. What? Who are wearing your gloves? But my coat like my coat warm, 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 <laughs> Muy bien, guys. Eh, no hay problema en, en que usted um, repita en su propio, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, tono, ¿verdad? No importa, sé que unos tienen más, más uh, seguridad y otros menos. So, no worries. Eso sí, que en sus prácticas personales necesito que, que repitan. Y es bien importante, guys. Cuando hagan estas repeticiones, hacerlo fuerte, ¿verdad? Con una voz fuerte. No gritando tampoco, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí eh, para que nuestro sistema, ¿verdad? Vaya, vaya organizándose con este nuevo lenguaje. Right? Entonces, lo que vamos a repetir, repitámoslo fuerte y claro. Right? Abriendo, gesticulando la, la boquita de la mejor forma. All right? So, any question? Any question on this conversation? No teacher. No teacher. Hey, entonces vean, ella preguntó, are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home, right? Mm -hmm. Y abajo dice, I am not wearing boots. Yo no estoy usando o vistiendo botas. Eso es negative. Present continuous, negative. Como yo, por ejemplo, ahorita, I am not wearing, I am not wearing a tie today. It's negative. I am not wearing a tie today. Let's check. In the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. All right, all right. Lo que me lleva a el siguiente tema. <laughs> Present continuous. By the end of the class, you will be able to form statements using present continuous. Antes que nada, 
¿Para qué usamos el present continuous? Este es el segundo tiempo gramatical que estamos viendo. Si lo notan, ya aprendimos el simple present. Right? Simple present para hablar de cosas eh, rutinarias. En este caso, present continuous. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar present continuous? Cuando estemos hablando de acciones que estén pasando, que estén ocurriendo en este preciso momento. Son acciones, cosas que ocurren mientras estamos hablando. No antes, no después, no todos los domingos, no todas las semanas, sino en este momento, in this moment, by this moment, you have to use present continuous. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example. Okay, check right there, check right there the grammar structure. ¿Cómo vamos a usarlo? ¿Cuál es la fórmula para este present continuous? Vamos a empezar con un subject, ¿ok? Subject. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué sigue después de eso? El verbo to be. The be verb. Subject. Be verb. Base verb. With ing. Esa sería la fórmula. Si ustedes se fijan ahí. Bueno, nosotros ya sabemos conjugar el verbo to be. Right? I am. A ver, todos conjugando el verbo to be. I, I, am. I am. You. Yeah. You, you are. You are. are. He. Is. 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 She. Is. She is. is. It. It is. It is. It is. We. It is. Are. We are. They. Are. They are. They are. Teacher Kalev. Is, 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 is El Salvador. It's El Salvador. Is, 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 is. René, Alan, and Brian. Are, are. Are. Okay. They Sofía. Are. Sofía. Is, is, is. Is. Estamos is. bien, chicos. Tenemos lo principal. ¿Qué sigue después de eso? Sigue el verbo con ing. En este caso nos enfocamos en el verbo usar wear, wearing. Ahí está. I'm contracted, right? I'm wearing shoes. I'm wearing. I'm wearing, I'm wearing shoes. Yo estoy vistiendo zapatos formales. Negative. I am not. I am I not am wearing not. pajamas. Do you understand? Yeah. You're, you're wearing shoes. You're wearing shoes. You're wearing shoes. Repeat. You are not wearing boots. You are not wearing boots. Ojo con los negativos. Hay dos formas de decirlo, ¿verdad? Usando la contracción. Con you're, you're not. O puedo decir, you aren't. Right. ¿Se entiende All esa right. parte? Just, yo quiero, con, puedo contractar el subject con el are. You're. You're not. You're not wearing boots. You're not. You're not o puedo contractar el verbo boots. to be are con la negation word not. Are not. not. Are Se convierte en are not. Aren't. 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 You aren't, you aren't wearing boots. You aren't. aren't. You're You're aren't. Aren't. Ustedes al final se van a acomodar a cuál mejor les suene, ¿verdad? Si ustedes quieren decir, you're not wearing you're not boots, or you aren't wearing boots. Repeat, you're she's aren't. wearing shoes. She's, she's, she's wearing, wearing shoes. shoes. She's, she's not wearing boots. 
She's not wearing boots. Repeat. We're wearing shoes. We're wearing shoes. Repeat. We're not wearing boots. We're not wearing boots. We aren't wearing boots. We aren't. Excellent. Repeat. They are. They are wearing shoes. They are wearing shoes. They are They are not wearing boots. They are not wearing boots. They aren't wearing boots. They aren't wearing boots. Hablando de el weather. Repeat. It's snowing. It's snowing. Está nevando. It's snowing. It's no way. It's not. It's not raining. It's not, not, not raining. Or it isn't raining. It isn't raining. On the other side, we have the conjunctions. Repeat conjunctions. Conjunctions. Conjunctions son las palabritas que usamos para unir dos ideas, right? Puede que sea para agregar información. Si es por agregar información, vamos a usar end. And. End. For example, oh, and. it's snowing and it's very cold. Si ¿Sí notamos ahí que son dos oraciones, son dos oraciones. And es la el conjunction word y está en medio de las dos oraciones. Porque dije yo, it's snowing, pero añadí. And it's very cold. It's very cold. Ok, en caso contrario, but. But lo vamos a usar cuando hay un contraste. En las dos oraciones que vamos a dividir, la primera es positiva y la segunda es negativa, or vice versa. The first sentence is negative and the second sentence is positive. Right? Pero el but siempre va en medio. For instance, I'm wearing a coat, but I'm, wearing I'm not wearing boots. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. But. Vaya, el ejercicio que vamos a practicar en esta oportunidad de tarea, remember, listen to me. Quiero que me describan dos cosas de lo que están vistiendo, ya sea ahora o mañana. Quiero que me usen las dos conjunctions. Right? Me van a mandar dos ejemplos. En un voice note. Right? Pero wow. en la primera me van a decir, es la dice, está fácil. End. Usando end. Vamos a decir, I am wearing. I'm wearing. Vamos a hablar de la ropa. I am wearing a shirt. Yes. And oh. pants, for example. Right? Fácil. I am wearing, I am wearing shoes. I am wearing. And jeans, for example. Yes? Yes? Yes. Cuando sea negativa, me va a decir algo que usted está vistiendo y algo que no está vistiendo. For example, I am wearing a shirt, but I am not wearing a cap. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Vamos a ver, let me see. Margarita, nos puede dar un ejemplo. Vamos a ver con los ejemplos. Comencemos con N. And is fácil. Let's go, Margarita. ¿Cómo le quedaría un ejemplo usando and? Hello? Yo tomándome mi café, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ajá. Es un, es un ejemplo similar al que acaba de explicar, ¿verdad? Ajá, usando and. Vamos a ver quién se anima, quién se anima. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Ah, all right, all right. Nobody? Teacher, ¿puede dar otro ejemplo? Con N. Hagamos otro ejemplo con N. Uy, qué rápido. Ya vamos a terminar. Bye. For example, I am wearing, I am wearing 
blue pants and a white shirt. Yes? Yes. Okay. Esta es con and. Y el, el otro vamos a usar but. For example, I am wearing a shirt, but I am not wearing a watch. A watch. You understand? Yes, yes teacher. No debería ser tan difícil. Vamos a ver. Um, examples, guys. Examples. Volunteer. One volunteer. I am. I am sure. Well, I am I, wearing. Vamos a decir. I am wearing, wearing. t-shirt and shoes. Correct. Tienen que ser muy cuidadosos, justo como usted lo dijo. I am wearing, repeat, I am wearing. I am wearing, wearing, wearing a t-shirt and shoes. A t-shirt and a shoes. shoes. Fíjense qué bonito. Usamos el artículo a cuando es singular. A t-shirt. Y cuando es plural no usamos artículo. And shoes. Ok. Así quedaría. Eh, and, eso está fácil, alright? Y usando but, recuerden que la primera oración es positiva. I am wearing uh, sneakers, but I am I not no. wearing socks. Yes? Yes. Ok. No tenemos mucho tiempo para ejemplos, así que vamos a escuchar, Miss Moreira. A ver, ¿qué ejemplo nos tiene con and? I am wearing a black gloves and a sneaker. Very good. Congratulations. That's correct. And I am wearing a black gloves, but I am not wearing socks. Wonderful. You're wearing a black blouse, but you're not wearing socks. Fabulous. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Eso lo practica, lo practica. Primero escriban sus ejemplos, right? Verifiquen que su ejemplo esté correcto. Verifiquen que el noun, si es singular, van a usar a o an. Si es plural, no me van a usar arico. Cuidado con eso. Es que digamos, cuando digamos lentes o... Earrings. Con glasses, cuando diga jeans, cuando diga shoes, cuando diga sneakers, shorts, sandals, high heels. Ya cuando usted diga skirt, scarf, right? Ya es a, a skirt, a scarf, ¿verdad? A blouse, a blouse, muy bien. Entonces, un audio usando and and but. Son dos ejemplitos, right? Si quieren, les doy unos dos días, ¿verdad? Para que lo, lo hagan, lo practiquen, ¿verdad? Es que la tarea es corta. Right, pero su servidor es bien perfeccionista, ok, si son dos audios, esos dos audios tienen que ir súper bien pronunciados y bien entonados, verdad, porque usted me está diciendo una oración afirmativa, no me la vaya a decir como que es pregunta, verdad I am wearing a t-shirt no, verdad, sino que es una afirmación, so, cuidado con eso, cuídense con detalles ajá, go ahead este, ¿será que me puede repetir la tarea? Porque como dos o tres veces se me cortó la conexión en ese momento que, que estaba hablando de eso y ya no, ya no sé qué dijo. No hay problema. Vamos a hacer dos audios, dos ejemplos. Un ejemplo usando end, que es este conjunction, y un ejemplo usando but. Nos vamos a enfocar usando el, el present progressive. I am wearing, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I am wearing sandals and blue jeans. I am wearing a cap, but I am not wearing a belt. ¿Ok? Ok. Let's call attendance okay, to finalize. Prepárenlo, ¿verdad? No hay apuro en eso. Um, Prepárenlo, practíquenlo y a más tardar el viernes. Terminamos con el attendance, guys. Let me check real quick. Hoy sí nos agarró la tarde. Ok. Adán Isaías Cornejo Ramírez. 
Alan Enrique Rosales Sorto. Present teacher. Ana Gabriela Murillo Martinez. Ángel René Esquivel Landa Verde. Present teacher. Blanca Jamilet Aquino Villa Mariona. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda Maricela Tovar Aguilar. Absent. Okay, Carlos Alejandro Perez Caravantes. David Antonio Lopez Torres. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for all your attention. It's nine, it's late. I'm sorry. You okay. guys have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Bye. 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 So long, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. Good night, teacher. Good night, classmates. Goodbye, good night. students. Good night. Good night. Be safe. Good night. Watch out.